Hey, so Michael Bender here with another um, video. Um, haven't actually done a video um, related to Linux in a while here, um, but I wanted to come on today and uh, give you this. So I've I've had Linux Mint installed just for um, not too long. I wouldn't say uh, maybe a day or so here um, on this machine of mine, and uh, I really came across some amazing applications that came stock. Um, inside of this this particular distro now so uh, for starters there's two things I only want to talk about in this video but for starters we have um, what is called a uh, free IPTV um, application it's called Hypnotics um, Hypnotics and it comes standard it comes with Linux Mint now it comes with it so once you click on the application um, let's let's just go over here first and show you where it's at so you go here you go to um, <clears throat> no, you go to sound and video and it should be should be right here should be right there and it says watch TV um, And the second application we're going to talk about um, we'll get to that in just a minute. So this is the free IPTV now this is similar to if you've ever used Pluto TV it's very much similar to that so uh, we don't have any movies in here or any series um, that are in, that are installed on this uh, particular application now but it has a buku a lot a huge amount of different languages you can choose from now I have watched some of this so you go to USA locals for me and um, I can see all the local channels in um, specific cities or whatever um, and and also if I click on where is the other one at that I was I was looking at oh here we go USA it gives me different channels that are within my um that I usually watch on TV uh, like a and E, um, ABC News, um, different things like that. It actually has where you can watch these channels. Now I want to tell you something. I'm gonna click on this real quick, but I want to tell you something. So you can pause. You can pause the television. It's not actually live television. Now I'm saying that the the Weather Channel may be live and different things like that. But for the most part, most of those are basically the best of what those channels or networks, I should say, have to offer. And they just put them in a collection where we're able to watch um, watch their shows um, on there for free. And it's legal. That's amazing. It's free and legal. So the second thing I want to talk about is this um, little thingamajig here, if I should say, the web apps. So to find this you would go to um, internet and you would go down and you would see web apps it says run websites as if they were apps so now we have the ability to just basically go in here click add give the give the the web app a name type in the web address we can even change the icon on it and put it inside of a category and then on top of that even tell which specific browser that we want to use when clicking on this um, web application that is an amazing feature to have because a lot of times we want to go straight to certain um, places online now we can do that without having to go I know Google Chrome offers that feature but now we can do this straight from the desktop and we can even choose which browser we want to open up um, with that web app. I think that's a great feature to have. Um, Should have been had that years ago, but I'm grateful to have it now. Listen, if you played around with Linux Mint, you found some great features, let me know in the comment below. Also, don't forget to like this video and um, be on the watch out for more content. I'm coming back and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you as well.